so you asked for it, and here it is, the Plug and Play 1.8 MX-5 Cops Kit, or Miata Cops Kit. Oh wait there, I'm missing something. The intro. <laughs> Good morning tubes. Right, another video. So I've been getting quite a few messages about the 1.8 COPS kit which I run on the Turbo GT um, and that we also sell. So I thought, I thought I'd do a quick video on showing you the kit and obviously fitting the kit and where you order it from. Okay, let's show you. So the kit itself includes obviously the coils. Oh, uh, now they'll either be, depending, we do two kits, one we used coils and we new coils, but they're, they're this, this type for the Toyota style are all like this. Uh, we also do the R8 ones as well now. You'll get the COPS lead. Now this is terminated per the connector for your car. So obviously these are all the same unless it's the R8 kit. These would be different. So in this case, these use 1.8 um, or coil pack connectors. So obviously it plugs into the stock loom. This is configured in a sequential manner. So one and two connect into here, which would have been one and four and two and three on the original car uh, coils. And then you've got two and three which go down to this fly lead and they use our fly lead or breakout cable as we call it which plugs directly into your ECU. So it's very very simple really obviously bolt down the coil packs which I'll go through in a moment with the bracket plug all these in obviously your power and earth and everything come from these leads as well as this earth which needs to be connected to your rock cover somewhere close to the coil so we generally make it so the lead is at least long enough for the furthest point now it can be as long as it's near them you'll be okay um then obviously this will have to wire through your bulkhead now it's thin enough to go through one of the grommets and plug into there so if you ever have to take the engine out but you want to leave the cops in you just got to disconnect it from this tyco connector here and it's as simple as that really okay guys so we're now in the garage obviously i've got the kit ready which is basically the same kit as what i've shown you earlier that other one's now been shipped off um this is still a 1.8 and everyone wants to see how the 1.8 kit fits into a 1.8 car. As you can tell, this isn't an MX-5, but it's got an MX-5 engine, 1.8 uh, Mark 1, um, but it's exactly the same as the Mark 2. And uh, the connectors are all exactly the same because we make sure everything's the same. So this will work on those cars as well. So anyway, let me show you what you do. The cop bracket. Now, if you're going for the normal Denso Toyota style ones, obviously that's your bracket. If you're going for R8, they don't have a bracket, they don't need one, they are a plug fit. So, as you can see, it just bolts down. Sorry about the prop, this car doesn't have a proper monic, uh, monic prop, bonnet prop. So you see, it just bolts down with the three standard rocker head bolts, rocker cover bolts. And the coils, you'll get your four coils, Obviously, you'll get your little donuts that go on the coil, and you'll get the wiring loom. Now, if it depends on how you've ordered it, you'll either get, if you want a wasted spark, you've got the two connectors. If you've gone for sequential, you get the two connectors and the, uh, the breakout loom that I shown you earlier. So, obviously, these two will go into your standard wiring harness on the car, which I'll show you now. The coil pack wiring harness, if you can see it, is there. Okay, so they're generally set up on the standard car as one and four, two and three as you fire. So on a waste of spark, it'll be one and four, two and three, and these will be labelled up with proper labels. I've just put some tape on just to show you exactly which one is which. Um, they'll be labelled up coil one and four, coil two and three. But if you go for sequential, it'll be labelled one and two, and then your breakout loom will be three and four, which will go to your ECU again, plug and play. Okay, so what we'll do is you then get the coil packs and fit them on. Coil pack so it's going to go one way around. There's actually a this kit, this bolt bracket is slightly different. We use ones now, just got a threaded piece of threaded bolt comes up and a nut you just screw down to the top. There's only one way it'll go around. They generally all face to the passenger side UK. Now get your GFP development coil pack wiring harness and start to plug it in. Obviously, the one furthest away from the end of your uh, loom side is number one. So plug them in one, two, three, four. So they'll fit like so. Sorry about the shadowing, it's a bit dark in here. Okay. Right, now what you need to do is plug in your loom end. Again, one, four, two, and three. If stock in waste of spark, one and two will plug into your original ones. The other ones will go, three and four will go into your ECU. So let's plug those in. See, what you'll also have to do is plug in your fly lead. Now I'll tend to do it to one of these rocker holes or even the old, um, old coil pack 
bolt hole. Make sure you put the coil pack, old coil pack bolt, bolts back in the holes, otherwise you will leak oil out of there because they go straight to the rocker cover. Now the coil pack fitted, all you need to go to your ECU software, so Tuner Studio, Mighty. So what you need to do now is load your ECU software. So I'm using ME221 slash 442, so I need to load up Mighty. If you're using Megasquare, obviously we Tuner Studio. Then you'll need to go to your ignition tab and then to your dual table. And as you can see, it's already got them set in because this is my base map. So simply select all of them. In my case, you just do backspace, hit 2.5 because that's where it needs to be. Hit return. I tend to hit save. And that's it. That's burnt to the ECU. And generally 2.5 to 2.8 is the norm for the Denso cops. I'll add that once you've done this, the call will start. Right, so ordering your kit. They're available for our website, which the website address is www.gfbdevelopments.co.uk or www.reallybrokenalways.com. Now, what will happen is you should get sent straight to the shop landing page, just like this. Obviously, if you don't, what we found is the we used to have a menu across the top that isn't working for some reason on mobile phones but the one at the bottom actually is. So obviously you've got a home, YouTube channel, store and about it. Click on store and it will just say into the store if you don't get it when you first go onto the landing page. Okay, thank you very much. So I hope you've enjoyed the video guys and I shall see you in the next one. Peace.